Hey, fuckers. Happy Friday. T-G-I motherfucking F. That's right. We made it. It's the end of the week. You know what that means. If TikTok hasn't banned us and kicked us off of this shit, I'll be doing a live from 7 to 9 p.m. Be there because this may be the last live on TikTok that I do. Okay. 7 to 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Now, I might go into 10 o'clock, but I try not to. So, if you're a subscriber, your mini reading will be free if you show up and claim your shit before 8. If you are a subscriber, you'll also be eligible to win a free private reading schedule with me next week. 30-minute session of whatever reading of your choice, but you got to show up to the live in order to be eligible to win too, okay? Also, if you're not a subscriber, you're also welcome to join the live, but if you would like a mini reading, it's not free. It's a $10 cash app. And you have to get this in before the live starts at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Okay? Now, it's time. You know what time it is? Hey, Sharon, what's the tea? Let's find out what the tea is for y'all. Tap that screen, okay? And I mean tap that shit. We're going to find out what the tea is. Spirits are showing me right now that there's a dirty offer coming your way, and it's the same shit, different day. So, I don't know. I was on each side of the deck. Could mean something for somebody here. <laughs> a dirty offer is like, you know, naughty, sexy. Let's let's do a quick romp somewhere private. <laughs> um somebody's running from running. This could be athletic running, or this could be running from a connection, scared to death. And you're shining. You're shining. Okay, so that's so let's touch base on this. Somebody here in this collective, whoever you are, is very athletic, but also running from a connection, very scared. And the reason they're running is because your light irritates their demons. What that means is you being out in the open, um, possibly in the public, very popular. People know you, people talk about you, people flock to you, people are inspired by you. You could be a TikTok creator, you know, you could be an uh, influencer on Instagram or wherever. But the point is, is a lot of people know who you are and, you're, and your light is irritating their demons. So they're running from this connection because I feel like there's something deceptive here. And spirits are calling me to read from situations to find out what that is. Some, some, something about exposure is what I'm hearing spirits tell me. Ex too much exposure. Meaning your light irritates their demons. So they're being exposed. Interesting. Yeah, see, they're running, they're pretending. They're pretending, they're trying to be fake. They're trying to pretend like they're, they're not interested. They're lying, okay, so yeah, they're lying to somebody. Ah, okay. So spirits are showing me that this person's being fake. This person's pretending to not be bothered by you, not be bothered by anything you say or do, but in all reality, your light, your popularity, your uh, out there status, if you want, to, is, is actually hurting them by exposing things that they're doing that are deceptive. And spirits are guiding you and spirits are guiding this person. 
So currently, this person and you both are seeing signs and synchronicities everywhere about each other because it's time. It's time for you to get together and seal the deal. You know what I mean? Um, they're running from you, though. This person's running. Running, running, running. Like, avoiding you. Avoiding you like the plague right now. And you have awareness and realization about this. Like, you you know what's happening. Things of awareness coming to light. Coming to the light. Awareness, realizations. Yeah, this person's running from this. Because they're afraid that somebody is going to find out everything. Because you are in the limelight. You're being watched by many. So right now they're pretending, playing a role. Acting like everything is cool, like they're not bothered by you. But right now they're in kind of a lockdown mentally. They're all up in their head about this shit, about you. They're feeling trapped. They feel like they're in a imprisoned tra entrapment in their own fucking head. And it's a lockdown of their own making, which is why they're trying to be fake. They're trying to they're trying to have some sort of some sort of ease ease in this situation because right now it's not easy for them. Whatever the situation may be. And I feel like spirits are going to be talking to this person through their subconscious, telling them, look, this is a risk. Yes, but it's worth the risk. Um, telling them to get, take a risk. You're seeing the signs and synchronicities because this is divinely guided. <laughs> Divine Masculine. That's who's running from the situation. Your Divine Masculine who has absolute unconditional love for you. And you have absolute unconditional love for them. Is running from the situation. And spirits are showing me that they have finally realized how much they love you and that they have been running from this connection and they've been afraid. Look, see, it's equal love between the two of you. You guys love each other. You adore each other. You admire each other. You're enchanted. This person, you're enchanted by this person. This person's enchanted by you. It's equal. There's no one-sided here. It's, it's equal. <sighs> yeah. And spirits are showing me that they feel that you feel that the time is running out and that you have this fear. Time's running out. And time kind of is running out because I feel like somebody is ready to move on from this shit. They're, they've, they're, they're ready to, you know, get back out there, see other people, maybe meet somebody new, try to get over this person. But somebody's heavily watching you on your social media. They're watching you in the physical realm. They're spying on you heavily, okay? Um, and like I said, there's people that are fascinated with you, watching you, a lot of different people. But this person in particular who loves you, watches you, is captivated by you. And there's been a huge tragedy in their life. They've had a huge tower moment um, regarding a forbidden love. So... This love is forbidden, is what spirits are showing me. So this might be a third-party situation. Um, you might be third-party to someone. They might be third-party to you. But there are children involved here. So that's why this person is being fake and playing the role that they're happy, but they're really not because they're afraid that they're going to lose everything they got, everything they've worked for, and their children will suffer. This person's going through a hamster wheel daily routine, not wanting to accept things the way they are. But spirits keep showing them different signs and synchronicities. They cannot get you out of their head. That's because spirit's not letting them. <laughs> and all they're doing is spinning their wheels in the situation that they're in. They're not happy at all. Not happy. No matter how far they run from you, they cannot shake you. The love that you have will never, ever go away. And I mean ever no matter what you do, no matter what other people do, other influences, it's not going to go away because it's fucking 100% real. 
I love you. I'll see you on the live tonight.